she's doing just amazing. She is attending Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama, and she's attending Arizona State University. Straight A's. I think her semester GPA was a 4.17, and she's just rocking and rolling. She'll be a junior um, come the spring, and she's preparing for internships and shadowing and going abroad and yeah, doing some research. So she's excited and it's been a crazy but fun experience. She took a <laughs> intro to engineering class during the summer and was not fond of it. And it wasn't what she expected. So she knew that the alternative was for her, for her was med. So she switched over to pre-med and she's found her calling, her it, her passion, um, her goal is to become a cardiothoracic surgeon and then moving into studying to become a flight surgeon for astronauts at NASA. I went into mechanical engineering and it just didn't feel right. Like it wasn't something I saw myself doing. So I went into pre-med and kind of like switched over and I said, okay, this is, this is amazing right here. This is what I want to do. So I'm following my dream going into pre-med. I am a sophomore going to be a junior soon. So she's still everything STEM. The Brown STEM girl has been amazing. It's just grown um, leaps and bounds since then, um, expanded. She's doing a STEM abroad in Singapore next year where she's sponsoring girls to go to the Art Science Museum and Malaysia and she's returning to ASU GSB conference again next year. She was on stage X this past year, so that was amazing. And um, she'll be going to Denmark in the summer with Lego. So it's been an amazing, crazy, fun journey, hectic. And we're just excited for just everything that God has given you know, to her, it's just been great. I also go to Oakwood University. That's where I have most of my classes. And it's actually, I just finished my, my finals week, so I had all my final tests and everything. <laughs> and you kind of like feel that pressure when you get to the end of stuff, so I was doing all this stuff this week. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. And at ASU, I'm getting into my final weeks of December now. Her classes are primarily online, um, and she will be moving on campus at Oakwood in the spring so so she can get her hands on in the lab and start preparing for the next chapter within the next year and a half two years and that's med school so she just got her MCAT study and she's getting ready to start studying for that. Well at ASU is more of my like math and extra classes but at Oakwood that's where I'm actually going into med. Well after I go to med school I do plan to be a flight surgeon and a doctor. A flight surgeon is actually like a doctor for the astronauts at NASA, so I'm pretty excited about that job. It was like a big change for me because at first when I started this whole thing, I said math, I did not like it. Like math was just bad for me. And now that I've gone through college and I'm just <laughs> doing all this math, I'm like, okay, I think I might like math. <laughs> so. It was like a really big change, but I do love math now. That's one of my favorite subjects. She continues to amaze me, you know, and I watch her and the journey's just been great. You know, she's happy, you know, and people ask all the time, well, do you get to be a kid? Absolutely. You know, there's no laptops this weekend. They were left at home. She's enjoying family, hanging out. She's the grand marshal for the parade here. So she's excited about that. And, you know, it's just, it's been an exciting journey. She still gets to be a kid. She still does kid things, you know, and she still hangs out with her friends. You know, she just has a bigger selection of friends now because they're college students and she's the little sister. So it's, it's been a blessing. You know, Oakwood has also given her that outlet because all the, I'm calling them kids, but the young adults in college, they're like her big sister and big brothers now. Next year is going to be amazing. I have my camp for Brownstone Girls from the City Day coming up next year. I have the trip to Singapore with the girls next year. It's just a lot of cool things 
next year. So that's what's happening. We're taking about 30 girls, about 30 girls to Singapore to explore the science center in Singapore. It's just going to be taking the girls to go and explore the different types of STEM in other countries and other places. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yes, it is public because we are looking for sponsors. We always make sure to find ways for the girls. So every time that we have like an event, just make sure that we talk about it because we don't know. Well, of course I have to tell them <laughs> first right. about it and then they come up and they ask like more questions about it and I just give details. You can go to bsgscholars.com and we are taking <laughs> sponsors at bsgscholars.com for STEM in the City Day and for STEM Abroad. And if you have girls that want to apply to the STEM Abroad, they can go onto the website bsgscholars.com and they can apply for the STEM Abroad. It is a very, very rigorous application process because brown STEM girls represent the best of the best of girls in STEM throughout the U.S. So get your girls, grab them, come on, let's go to Singapore and let's have fun. Yes. Yeah, we're super, super close. Very close. <laughs> close as it can get. Yeah, we're, we're really close. It's pretty cool. I haven't had to, I haven't had to <sighs> strangle her neck during this right. process. Very organized. I mean, super organized. I've got her nerves, so, maybe watch it twice. Yeah, <laughs> she's been doing great. We have an amazing relationship. Yes. I think engineers of the future are just putting it out there, saying that it's not just adults who have to go to college and do all this stuff. There's kids out there who are smart enough to show these things in STEM. So it's just like a big accomplishment. I love that about them. I am the Grand Marshal for <laughs> the parade today. So I'll be on a float going very far. <laughs> they emailed, emailed us. Email? Yeah. yeah, and they, they sent an email and they were like, we'd love to have, you know, Elena, you know, with the parade as one of the Grand Marshals. And of course we said, yeah, and we're here. And then we're here with Engineers of the Future. So yes. love what you guys are doing at Engineers of the Future. You know, I love what you guys represent in the community. Really, really, really pulling out those gifts and young people to push them to become engineers. You know, um, engineers, STEM is such a broad field. And I love what you guys are doing. And, you know, you have our continual support. Roll like with it. <laughs> she liked the kids the most. That was her thing. <laughs> Yes, I'm the kids talking to them.